long ago, when the gods first created this world. Three species ruled the land. The humans, the darklings, and the dragons. These days, dragons are considered a type of monster, but they used to be smarter than humans, and most of them could even speak. These three species fought bloody battles for control of the ancient world. The gods lamented this conflict and decided someone should oversee their creation. The gods of dragons, darklings, and humans convened and came to an agreement. To create a being with the strength of dragons, the magic power of darklings, and the heart of humans. An ultimate warrior. The Dragon Knight. If any force should ever hold ambitions to dominate the world, it is the Dragon Knight's duty to wipe them out and administer divine punishment. And I am the one true Dragon Knight. The one meant for this age. But while only one Dragon Knight is supposed to be born, there was an exception. And the other Dragon Knight is you, I want your power, guy. Now, come and serve me. It's time. Time for you to embrace your duties and destroy what's left of humanity with me. Serve you? Destroy humanity? You're joking! I make no such joke. It's what the legendary Dragon Knights were born to do, after all. Never! I'm on the side of humanity, no matter what you say! It was the Dark Army that took my Master of Vaughn's life! I'd rather die! Dino. Don't call me that! My name is Dai. It's the name my grandpa gave to me. I fight the Dark Army. I'm Dai the Hero! I see. Very well. Then I suppose I shall call you by your human name. So, Dai, I shall defeat you as a hero who fights for the humans. If you will not submit yourself to me, this will be your end. the power of dragons so well. For that spirit and courage, I shall show you just how terrifying it is when a true Dragon Knight controls the heavens. What? No. I'll turn what? you to ash! No. Giga Break! Too obvious! No. Don't you understand, child? I am far stronger than you could ever hope to be. I still have my... my final weapon! That's right. What matter have said? A hero's weapon! The only weapon I have left that might work on you is what lets me face any powerful enemy. And that is my courage! Know your place. Back down. 
Now what is he up to? What's going on? The crest is acting on its own! My head! My head feels like it's splitting! Grandpa Brass? What are you doing here? And everyone home on Dernline Island. Why? Why am I seeing all of this? All of my memories, they're gone! On Dermline Island lived Dai, a boy who dreamt of becoming a hero and trained to become a mage under his adoptive parent, Brass. One day, a party of fake heroes came to the island with their eyes set on Gomachan, said to be the only golden metal slime in the entire world. The group deceived Dai, who had mistaken the imposters for the heroes he idolized and abducted Gomachan. However, as the fake heroes attempted to present Gomachan to King Romos on a ship offshore, Dai successfully rescued his friend. Moved by the boy's gallantry as he fought for his friend, King Romos praised Dai and awarded him the crown of champions. A little later, Princess Leona of Papnica Kingdom came to the island to perform a ritual with the Bishop Temjin and the Sage Varen. Leona's tendency to bluntly speak her mind annoyed Dai at first, but as they worked together, the pair slowly began to bond. However, shockingly, it turned out that Temjin and Varen were scoundrels driven by greed, plotting to betray and kill Leona. Once Dai vanquished the evil scorpion they dispatched, he and Leona were confronted by an even greater threat, the killing machine. Dai's explosive anger and desperation to save the princess made a strange mark manifest. Using the mark's power, he rescued Leona. Leona, having safely completed the ritual, exchanged a promise with Dai to meet again in the future before departing the island. Although Dai had overcome a great many ordeals, the hard-won peace was not to last, for graver troubles yet lied in wait. It was a day like any other, as Dai frolicked with the island's monsters. When suddenly, the creatures began to rampage. Dai hurried to Brass, only to find him in a stupor and on the verge of going berserk. After Dai's cries brought him back to his senses, Brass declared that the Dark Lord had returned. Worse still, he grimly predicted that the monsters would turn on Dai. He urged the boy to leave the island. But Dai insisted that a true hero would never abandon his friends. Well put, young man. I couldn't have said it better myself. 
You must be Dai. First, let me sort out your friends. I hereby banish you, Dark Forces! I almost forgot. <laughs> How rude of me. I am Avon de Zinuar the Third. I tutor young warriors, coaching them to be tomorrow's heroes. So you're a hero trainer? Yes. I teach all the agents of peace and justice. Heroes, sages, mages, no matter what your raw materials are, I can turn them all into world-class warriors. I am Avon de Zinuar the Third, but just call me Avon. And this is Pop, one of my brightest students. If he applies himself, one day he'll make a very powerful mage. Avon informed Dai and Brass that the Dark Lord had risen once more. Not only that, the Papnica royal family had given Avon the task of training Dai to become a true hero as quickly as possible. Dai agreed to undertake Avon's special hard course, designed to make him a hero in one week, and began the grueling training. For the first day, Dai trained earnestly, practicing everything from unarmed combat and magic to even slicing an enormous boulder. His exhaustion made his movements less wasteful, enabling him to cleave the very rock he had struggled to damage that morning. On the second day, to learn Avon's signature attack, Avon Strash, Dai mastered the basic Avon-style sword technique, Earth Slash. Then, on the third day of training... What sort of training is this, Master? Very simple. You're going to fight me. But this time, I'll be using a special spell. You can use your blade, but I won't be injured by it. It's guaranteed to make my skin harder than any kind of steel. Now, you might want to stand back. Here we go, Pa! <gasps> A dragon? That really is some spell! Dragons are the most powerful in all of the Monster Kingdom. Only a true hero could face such a creature and survive, let alone defeat it. It's time to prove yourself, Dai. Let's go! Today's lesson will be quite the tough one. A dragon? Dragons are the most powerful in all of the Monster Kingdom. Only a true hero can face such a creature and survive, let alone defeat it. Let's begin with the warm up. Such an apt student! You have so much potential! Prepare! 
for your next lesson. Shall I heat things up? That earth slash didn't even leave a scratch. A water attack should put out a fire, right? I must say, I'm quite embarrassed with myself. Huh? Earthquake? No, something worse. It's the magic circle. Someone must be trying to breach it, and whoever it is, they're incredibly powerful. But an ordinary monster wouldn't be able to set foot inside it. Could it be? <laughs> Was that magic circle your idea of a practical joke? So, you really returned, Dark Lord Hadlar. <laughs> Been a while, hero Avon. Avon, long ago, you thwarted all of my ambitions. You even cost me my very existence. That's why I knew your name. It was you. You're the legendary warrior. You defeated the Dark Lord and brought peace to every kingdom in the land. I can't believe he's really the one who defeated the Dark Lord. I understand you've gone into teaching. If those two are your students, then I have to ask. For warriors of justice, don't you think they're a little small? Out of your way! You know, I'm glad you decided to come here yourself. Now I can defeat you again, and clear the darkness shrouding this world. such a tiny ember. Watch and learn. This is how it's really done. Now burn! Sizzle! Wait, Slash! Impressive power. You're even stronger than the last time we fought Hadlar. But how? You really want to know? Because I promise you won't like my answer. And if I'm being honest, I'm going to miss you calling me the Dark Lord. What's that supposed to mean? It's not like I resurrected myself, but now I serve the ruler who did. He was generous enough to bestow upon me more power than you can imagine. Tell me, who was it? The Dark King, Vern. He is a mighty god of the underworld. After you defeated me, I was brought before his throne, and he gave me a glorious new purpose. Now I am the Dark Lord no more, but the Dark Commander, he who leads Dark King Vern's forces. You can fight, but I guarantee it's hopeless. My new master is an omnipotent god of dark. Humanity's destiny is extinction. 
<laughs> it's been 15 years, but I'm sure you will remember my offer, Avan. So here's your second chance. All you have to do is join me! And if you do, I'll even let you rule half the world. I refuse. You have no clue what mercy is. Besides, if I did agree, I know you'd still turn on me eventually. Either way, I doubt you have the authority to offer me anything. You're not the Dark Lord anymore, you're just a servant. I'm a commander! How dare you! Servant! You regret calling me that, you little punk! Instead of sparing you, I'll make your students watch as I turn you to ash! Eat this! Kaboom! Hop on track! Wondering when you were going to do that. The Avon Strash took my life the last time. However, it appears my resurrected form has the edge. <coughs> Want to live, get out of my sight. Really? Blood? But that's impossible. That little brat's blade shouldn't have even left a scratch. I've changed my mind. It seems as though Avan's students are too powerful to be left alive after all. I'll make it quick. Well put, young man. Couldn't have said it better myself. You must be die. Is everyone all right? Thank goodness. That's what I call good timing. I'm afraid this is going to be much more difficult than I expected. If we don't do something drastic, we can't win this. Hadlar will shroud this world in darkness again. I can't allow that to happen. He must be stopped here and now. Die, Pop. Promise me something. No matter what happens, find the Dark King Vern and defeat him! Wait a minute. Are you not coming back from this? Kaklan! What's happening? The Kaklang spell. It's a high level defensive incantation. It turns the body into steel and can repel any magical attack. I'm sorry, but it's the only way. I have to make sure you'll all be safe before I begin this final battle. Wait, it doesn't have to be final! Master Avon, he's right! We can beat him together! Just please don't do this, Master! 
Really? Insignias of Avon. Those are graduation pendants. I give one to every student who manages to complete my training. And I, you possess truly outstanding potential. It's only been three days and I regret having to cut things short. If we continued for the remaining four, there's no doubt in my mind that you would have become a hero. That's why I give it to you now. Keep practicing, have faith in yourself, and one day you will become a hero. And you. Stop it! Master, don't do it! I still need you! I don't care if you used to be the big hero. Now you're supposed to be our trainer. You even said so yourself. You can't win against him. I still have to try, Pop. Sometimes you have to risk everything. I wish that weren't the case, but don't forget the first thing I taught you. We train to help others, not to save ourselves. Someday you'll understand. And until that day comes, I want you to hold on to this for me. Master! I've thought it all through. You have my word. He won't win. Let's do this, Hadlar! Goodbye, Avon! Spell! Impossible! There's no way you can search enough magic power for this! Actually, the spell requires very little. Instead, it turns life energy into a massive blast. So let's see you withstand this, Hadlar! Wait! You know what that means! Stop it! You little... Enough! It will kill you too! Pop, die! Good luck! You'll have to take it from here! Magante! Magante? It's an old self-destruct spell. He sacrificed himself to keep the world from falling back into Hadlar's hands. Master Avon was truly a selfless hero. Wait, are you saying that he threw away his own life just to protect us? Master. <laughs> oh, Avon, you truly have grown weak! Even with all your life force in that Nagante spell, you couldn't hold a candle to my power! And if it's only children standing in my way now, I have nothing to fear! Uh, curse that pesky hero! You may have left me with this headache, but it's your students who are going to pay the price. My frizz is pure hellfire. It won't stop burning until its target is destroyed. It's only a matter of time until Avon's spell wears off and you'll turn to ashes. Master Avon didn't just give up his life to stop Hadlar. He gave up his life so that we'd survive. If we don't finish what he started, then his sacrifice will have been for nothing. I owe him my life. And I'm not gonna let this jerk take it away now! What? Let's go! It can't be! He intends to break the Kaklang spell himself? Uh, what? Uh, 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 uh,
stupid child. Now you'll fry! Come fresh! Impossible! You can't quench hellfire! Fine then. I guess I'm just going to have to bumble you to death! <laughs> What kind of power is this? <gasps> Unbelievable! How did he get a dragon crest? Could this boy really be a descendant of the Dragon Knights? Can it be? How dare you! Avon was my master! You'll pay for that! some damage from Avon's Bagante, and this boy may be one of his students, but that doesn't explain how- Are you all right? I think so. Are you guys? Huh? Where's Hadlar? Unfortunately, I think he got away. If I'm not mistaken, he used a chimera wing. <laughs> <laughs> Master? Master? Huh. <laughs>
So you're leaving? Yep. I'm sorry. I really would like to join you for this. Only, if I take even a step off this island, I'll be under the Dark Lord's control. It's fine, Grandpa. Just wait here and look after the others. I promise you all, I'm going to defeat the Dark King. And Pop? He was crying all night, so he's still asleep. The poor boy had quite a shock yesterday. Hey, Grandpa, will you take care of him, too? Mm-hmm. Master! Don't go! You can't leave me! Master! Pop, no matter what you face, remember, use what you've learned to help others. Come back! Huh? Huh? Romo's kingdom is the closest. Head north and keep going straight until you see land. Okay, so that means first I'll see King Romos, then I'll head to Papnica. Bye everyone! Take care! Wait! How dare you! What, are you trying to leave me here?! Come on! Okay! We're off! Diane Pop departed from Dermline Island to defeat the Dark King. Upon crossing the sea, they set out for Romo's kingdom and stepped foot into the Dark Forest. Let's get this started! Pop! I'll die! I'll give it all I've got!
Mike, I only followed you because you said you got this! Look at us! We're completely lost! Huh? Huh? Mina! These two saved me from the monsters just in time! Thank you so much. I'm Ma'am. We're both from Nile Village. It's just east of the forest. My name's Dai, and this is Pop. We've been traveling together. You're really strong, huh? Well, you have to be if you live nearby. You can't afford to be weak living next to the dark forest. So what brings the two of you out this way? We're looking for Romo's palace. The palace is straight through the forest. You can't miss it. But listen, the sun's setting. So why don't you come and stay the night in our village? I'd like to thank you for saving little Mina here. Really? That sounds... What's wrong, Pop? Forget that girl. Let's just get out of here. We can either sleep in some scrawny village or a big old palace. That's not even a debate. I can hear you. My village is scrawny, as you've guessed. So why don't you hurry along and go get your dinner at the palace now? Well, after dark, all kinds of ferocious monsters start prowling the area looking for their next meal. So you'd better get through the forest quick. But with your skills, you'll probably wind up in something stomach. Okay, then your village sounds... Sure! The two of us can handle a few bushes! Who needs your dumb advice anyway? Come on, Dai, let's just go. It's getting dark. Pick up the pace. Let's go! All right, here we go!
My master taught me this! Strong, whatever it is. There you are, boy. The name is Beast King Crocodile, commander of one of the six legions under Hadlar, the mighty Furfang Legion. Now, die. By direct order of Hadlar, you must perish. If you wish to survive, show me your true strength. The strength which allowed you to wound even the Dark Commander himself. <laughs> <laughs> 